All right, I'm back to Greedfall, and before I begin, I just really need to have a rant. I'm trying a dual PC recording setup right now for the first time, and one of the most aggravating problems with this kind of a setup is that you can't on Windows clone audio devices unless you are using your default audio device, then you can use the stereo mix thing, but if you're not using that, you're just fucked. So I am now recording the game audio, the game video, my video, and my microphone all separately, and I'm going to have to edit them together in post. So I apologize if this video is utter shit. With that out of the way, uh, last time when I played this, I was uh, trying to find some healer lady person who was... I'd done some chores, and this guy told me where she was, I think, was what happened. Yeah. Find ha ka ha Or whatever her name was. Doing all these chores, trying to, you know, get her location, and she's just hiding out right... Tell me this isn't a dead end. She's just hiding right behind this guy's tent. Or Manoanawi. hear drums. Is that combat music or is somebody around here? Oh, shit. I regret troubling your rest. My name is Desarde. I'm a legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Nev, daughter of Morrigan, daughter of Cardwin. What is a legate? And what could she want from me? I am an emissary, a representative of my nation. I have come to speak to you about a cure. Of what cure do you speak? You do not show signs of sickness. I am not. But on our continent, many people are dying from a terrible plague. We have named the sickness the Malakor, and none of our doctors have been able to heal anyone taken ill. We have heard talk from some of your people of a cure that is so powerful that it can heal almost anything. You would be... My daughter, it is clear that this woman has no intention of helping us. As for this miraculous remedy, allow me to cast doubt on its very existence. The only true miracles come from the Enlightened. You come here all the way into my haven to deafen me with your teachings of holy miracles. I apologize. That is not the purpose of our visit. The cure, on the other hand... Tierna hach kedachtas. I ask you to forgive these foreigners. They do not know our customs. But their intentions are peaceful. They seek a remedy to heal their people with conviction. And what is a Donegad of our people doing with these invaders? What do you seek in their company? Understanding, Tierna. And to learn for the good of our people. You truly think there is anything the Renaixi could teach of any value? They come here to rape our lands, as oh, did those shit. who came before them long ago. This miraculous harsh. cure that we heard talk of. Could you share the formula with us? You are either completely crazed or foul liars. None of this makes sense. But I... Enough! I have lost enough time with your lies and your foolish thoughts. I do not know what you truly want from me. But I will not be used like some puppet. What? Hold up. 
Okay, I thought it was amusing that I brought along, you know, Preacher Guy and her at the same time so they could talk her up and down. I was not expecting this. Um, holy shit. That was... Oh, what? Sorry, one second. Come on. I just realized something. I'm recording the video on two different... whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Now I have to fight these dinosaurs. Which are remarkably easy to kill. Ooh, I am poisoned now. Shit, I'm getting fucked. Stand up! Drink a potion! Hopefully I have a way to talk myself out of this, because I just killed all her pets. Wait, where did she go? Oh, I've got to follow her up a cliff now. Yeah, those things were remarkably easy to kill. I did have to waste some bullets, though. Oh, hello. <laughs> Don't mind me just setting up all this random crap in your forest sanctuary. <laughs> I, I do wonder if there's a way to um, have that interaction that I just did, but not completely make it happen. I think bringing the pre the preacher guy has been like remarkably understanding and pragmatic in almost every situation, and then just randomly in that one, he's like, T "Yeah, fuck these ignorant natives. We're gonna rely on a miracle." There is a residue. It looks as if something had been placed here. Find a way into the holy place. Um, maybe this door? These roots are so interwoven and taut that it's impossible to get through them. She passed through here, there's no doubt of it. But how was she able to get past these roots? This stone steely has something to do with the entry of the grotto. But how? Oh. This is obviously island magic. Some sort of ritual. The roots must open if one places the proper offering on the altar stone. I wonder if Ongos, the Veblendike, will know how this works. Oh wow, that was quick. Alright, Onglos. Were you able to meet the Tierna Hakkadaktas? Yes. But to my grave disappointment, she fled before I could expose my arguments. Yes, many strangers have tried to capture her many times. She must have decided you were one of them. I am once again in need of your assistance. I must take the passage blocked by a door of roots. You had the honor of speaking with my mistress. If she chose to follow the sacred passage, then it is that she had nothing more to say to you. Why would I share with you the understanding of the ritual that protects her? Why not? Charisma. I promise that I mean her no harm. I just need to expose as best I can the problem at hand. Her help is truly necessary. Thousands of lives are at stake. Tell me more. 
My people have fallen prey to a serious illness, which has almost certainly taken my own mother by now. If we do not quickly find a remedy, we shall all follow her to the grave. But the Tiana Hakadactus can help us. We are sure of that. She will know of a remedy able to heal this sickness that plagues us. Your quest seems noble and with great respect for the life of all. You must feed the offering ward to enter into the passage and meet her once again. I need to place a seed on the stone steely, don't I? Yes, you must make this offering. I cannot tell you from which plant it is given. But there is a chance there are more in her dwelling. I will let you enter this one time, but treat her dwelling with respect, I ask you. Thank you for your help. Do not be so eager to thank me. The place you enter is ripe with dangers. As do all sacred places, it defends itself with the wild beasts that it fosters. This passage leads to a forest where the ancestors of the Tierna Hakkadakthas makes her home. And why should I fear the ancestor? Have stories of the Nadaig been shared with you? In your language, you would call them guardians. Yes, I even encountered one. She was magnificent. Then you know of what I speak. I must leave. Okay. So, it must be, like, ridiculously hard. I probably had to bring Siora and no one else in order to convince her to actually come with me. Alright, so treat her place with respect, so basically don't loot the shit out of it. This looks like a collection of skulls from various animals. I wonder what purpose they serve. These skulls symbolize the animals. Through some rituals, we greet them. We thank them for feeding and dressing us. So that the next hunting season, they will once again give us the weak amongst their herds. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. I'm actually not going to loot the fuck out of her place. This bark is covered with little symbols. It looks like some sort of writing. Though I've been led to believe the natives have no written language. <sighs> The Donegada use these symbols amongst themselves, and only they understand their meaning. It is a secret and sacred language. I cannot reveal to you what the bark contains without breaking my bond. Can you at least tell me if they speak of a passage? A seed? No. I would have told you. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. these crushed plants and these powders she must have been preparing a potion it might be the miraculous remedy <sighs> to be so close and yet to have no idea what to do with all this all of this is extremely interesting but alas it won't help me open the root passage all right, all right. Keep looking. oh this plant looks familiar i saw some not far from here unfortunately it has lost its seeds i don't see any seeds here the only clue we have is this plant. Let's try to find some other flowers. It might be their seed that opens the passage. All right. I'm going to be pissed if taking that one bullet screws me over. Uh, it's this way. Right? where the Tiena Hack. These flowers are similar to those we found in the dwelling of the Tiena Hack, and they bear seeds. Those are the offering seeds we need to open the root passage. We should go try them. This smile and sorcery is touching in a sense. If only its usage did not entail all of these superstitious venerations of nature spirits. We have what we need. Let's go back to the Stone Steely. I mean, to be fair, uh, he... <laughs> what the hell? I'm trying to pick the seed, not fight. 
God damn it. Out of pure laziness, I'm just going to go back to that thing. I'm not sure which is quicker, but I know I can fast travel from over here. Paranoia checking the recording over there to make sure the game is still actually going. <laughs> Alright. Now I'm gonna have to fight a big ass monster. Hopefully not, but you know. This place must be some type of shrine dedicated to the demonic creatures of this island. If the Ordo Luminous could see this. Oh my god, Petrus, you've already screwed shit up enough. Be respectful. We are in a sacred passage, which is for initiation and meditation. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. The Diana Hakadactus is quite the head start. I was doing so good. I'm pinned against the wall. Get away from me. Also, I know they just have like random loot assignments, but. I do find it funny that I go into the uh, Tina Doctor her house, and there are bullets in multiple containers. Oh no! Not bats! Not bats! Dodging. Okay. Fifty more meters. There's a chasm here. I need a bit of practice. What? Vigor level two. When's the next time I level up and can get some vigor? Oh god, I don't even have bigger level one. Alright, time to take the long way around. Normally these bats, like, completely kick my ass, but I don't know if it's because my character's higher level now or, or what, but it's going a little bit smoother. Ugh, god, more bats. Oh no, one of them hit me. I'm fucked. Stupid poison breath.
go this way. Oh, fuck. I know this character. I'm getting a lot of XP in this cave. It's not possible just now. It's not possible just now. Oh, okay. Now. I need, like, science or something. I, th I saw a level one thing that I don't have. This is what I get for pouring all of my points into charisma. I can make a great argument, but, uh... My character can't do anything practical. <laughs> I've essentially just made a politician with a gun. <laughs> that's that's my, my whole character. Because I can talk really well and I have a like really high skill with a rifle. And good intuition, but uh. Uh huh. Guess let's keep going this way. Okay, I'm climbing up now, that's progress. Oh, that's that thing I would have been able to blow up. Killing off the man bear pig. Oh god! That's a person! I don't want to kill this person. the fuck were you two? Almost there. Oh, there we go. Part of me really wants to leave Petrus behind because he's just gonna be a douche to her. I hope that she did not hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. It is an ancient and holy forest. A powerful place. There must be a mad eye here. We should be careful. Oh, campfire. <laughs> My god, are they really gonna let me? <laughs> I mean, I know it's a fast travel point. But it's just hilarious being here. <laughs> Why don't you just put all this shit down in the middle of your sacred forest? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna save because if Petrus totally fucks this up for me, I'm gonna leave him behind. Oh, who the fuck's this guy?
And you'll kill this motherfucker. Kill him! Kill him! She looks creepy as fuck, by the way. Also, I want that guy's pistol. Oh, get fucking owned. Holy shit. God, get off me. I'm stuck in the tree. down here and let's not watch that cutscene again maybe in life why is the alright nice it's got no armor anymore Mental trap, and let's set a magical trap, and now <laughs> let's set a poison trap. <laughs> and now, last but not least, let's set a stasis trap. Oh shit. Come on, step on the trap. Step on the trap. Step on the trap. It's right here. Come on, come on, trap! Step on the trap! It's right here, you fucking horn bitch! Ooh, that took a bunch of chunks off of it. God, step on the trap! It's right under Petrus. Attack him! Screw it. Oh no, I'm stuck on a tree again. Step on the fucking trap! Oh, screw it. On me. I was just trying to talk to you. We didn't want this fight. Why? Why? In order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her, if necessary. You have done us a great service. Who? Guiding us directly to her. Shoot this You've motherfucker! Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform, and from where their powers originate. Shoot this motherfucker! Our scientists think that the remedy is there, 
in their pseudo magic and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. I just killed a fucking monster. You think I'm afraid of you? Mercy, Your Excellency. I surrender. How dare you ask for mercy after attempting an assassination? After revealing your conspiracy to me? You deserve nothing less than death. I will not go down without a fight. Maybe yeah. Fuck that. Oh my god, I am furious. Also, I want my trap back. <laughs> he never stepped on it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna leave that as a cliffhanger. Before we see what happens when I investigate her, I'm gonna end this here. I've had a big boss fight, and to be frank, I'm paranoid that this recording isn't going to work. <laughs> So, uh, I'm gonna end it there. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna put up another, well, I'm gonna keep recording if, if it works. Um, uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you, hopefully you'll, uh, tune in again soon.